Hey, how's it going? Skid Row Trash here. It's Sunday, and we're going to play Clean Em Up. This is a game on Steam that's totally free. It came out a couple days ago, I think, although it's kind of hard to tell. I mean, it's on the most recent list, right? A couple pages back, but it shows July 2012 as the release date or something like that. So I have no fucking idea. Anyways, it's one of these games where you're, like, shooting these guys, like Geometry Wars or... Well, there's all kinds of games like this, really. I played a couple of good ones, played some bad ones. I'd say more often than not, these games uh, are pretty good on Steam. The ones I played, anyways. So let's check this out. Drive console. Name, drive name, Windows. Um, select drive. Select console. Our computer has been hacked. Oh, okay, I was wondering, what the fuck is it talking about drives and shit? It's a hack game. Uh, <laughs> so our computer has been hacked. It's now under attack. Dozens of viruses and other threats have penetrated the system. Uh, files have been infected. <laughs> it got penetrated and then infected. That sounds kind of nasty. Anyway, sectors are damaged, and the security army is our last hope. Um, I can't choose next to previous. We could just use this fucking thing. So, oh, it's these goddamn controls. I was hoping I could use my thing. Fuck, it's not working. My controller doesn't work. So you gotta waz and mouse around on this shit. Well, that's kind of nice. I actually really don't like this type of control. I don't know if I ever mentioned that or not. But I hate using... I hate these kind of games. It seems like a twin stick shooter, but when they use mouse and keyboard, I just... I can't fucking stand that. I hate it. Like the, um... What's that? There's a really good game. What was it called? Hotline Miami. I like Hotline Miami, but I hate this type of control style. I fucking hate it. I like I wish it was just twin sticks like come on anyways um, we can upgrade our guy kind of but not really start sector uh, so <laughs> we're looking for exe file let's go find this or maybe that's who we are I don't know oh I gotta pick it up get those exe files get it Get the exe file. Uh, I couldn't get it. Maybe I have to protect them? Virus detector has been achieved! And um, does that me? Am I the virus detector? Okay, so the exes got infected. I had to shoot them to uninfect them. I guess if these things pass over it, yeah, if these things pass over your exe files, they'll fuck that shit up. And give you computer viruses. In the game, not in real life. We got it! This sector's secure. Can I get new pieces? Ah, unlock the alpha gun. Okay. Oh, it looks like we can get a turret as well. Let's try that. Okay. I don't know what that turret thing was. So far, this is okay. I mean, it could be... It could be better. If it had twin stick support, it would be better. I know that much. I just hate this fucking mouse key... Mouse and waz stuff with games that... Seem like twin stick shooters. Like, they should be... Having that other control method. Oh, well. What can you do, I guess, right? The price is free. What... Can't complain. At least not much. Um, yeah, my brain is kind of hurting right now. I was at a uh, carnival yesterday. It was pretty fun. But the sun cooked my brain and now I'm like... Fucked in the head. <laughs> I can't even think with my brain. It's like busted. I feel like I need to take a second nap today. Today's like a two nap type of day, I'm pretty sure. And not only am I, like, tired as fuck, but it's raining outside, so... 
That makes me even more tired. Not that I go outside, but I have a window here and I can see outside and when the sun's not shining, it makes me want to go to sleep. So anyways, I'm going to probably take a nap after this thing. Try this for a while, see how I do. I played Depth the other day. That's a fun game. Try making a video out of it, but it didn't work out so good, so I don't have a video of it. But it was free to play for the weekend. On sale as well. I had it on my wish list, but I didn't buy it. I just tried the free thing, because... Never really... I already have a Sharks game. I own Shark Attack... Uh, what is it? Shark Attack Deathmatch 2. It's a fun game. Not many people play it, though, so it was nice to try this one here, where there's a lot of people playing it, and... It was pretty fun. I liked it. It's a good game. Definitely a good game. I'm not sure if I buy it, though. Just because I got so many games on the go, right? So many games I want to try, and... If I already have a Sharks game, maybe I'll just skip it and get other stuff. I don't know. It's nice, nice on Steam has the free try thing, so I really like that. It's really cool. I wish, like, the consoles had shit like that. We could just play a full game for free for a couple days, see if you like it. It's cool shit. Anyways, I am in trouble with these green guys. They're getting me real bad. They're fast. It's hard aiming this. Uh, it's getting all staticky. Oh, we got killed. We got killed. Let's go to the armory again. Can we get anything new here? We're not a big fan of these guns. Let's switch back. This might work better with those green guys. Try this one. It's nice that it shoots on both ways, but... I don't know. I just feel like this would be way better with that twin stick. If I could use my controller and just... Like Geometry Wars and all the other games like that, right? They work so much... It's such a perfect control style for these types of games. It's with the, with the two uh, analog sticks. I think it's probably the perfect way to control them. So anytime you, you change from that method, it's not as good, I find. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. Like if uh, Hotline Miami had twin stick control, I would love that game. I just can't aim like this and fly around and aim. I don't know why. I find it hard. I don't have to have any bombs in this game or anything. Maybe I can unlock that. I don't seem to have any way of killing all the shit on the screen. Usually you have something like that in these flying games where you can just kill off all the shit around you. Like, I got this overclocking bar. Oh, I pressed it! I pressed overclocking bar! And it put what looked like a shield on me, but it didn't protect me from anything. So I was penetrated and infected. <laughs> Alright, here we go. I'm gonna try a bit more of this. Fucking shield didn't save me at all. We got this thing now. I don't know what that is. I gotta protect it, though. Unless I can grab these things? Can I grab those? They look pretty good. Can I get that? I did! Look at that! It's a frozen thing. Okay, that's cool. Couple pickups, some power ups. I don't mind that. So I guess you just go until you die? Is that the idea? Do I actually kill off all these fucking guys? Ah, this is not a protection shield. This is a damage radius area. They come into my radius, then they get fucked up. I'm pretty sure radius means your circle. Is it? Because I know this diameter and this radius. It's been a long time since I've done math and geometry. I think that's where they came up with that radius and diameter garbage. Some kind of math shit. I don't know if you can tell or not, but I feel pretty stupid this morning. My brain is like fried from the sun. I need to sleep until I get some brain power back or something. <laughs> Barely keep my eyes open here. I don't even know why I'm awake. I shouldn't be. Maybe I ate too much cereal last night. It was pretty funny. I 
I was uh, I went through a McDonald's drive-through yesterday, and I really impressed the cashier lady or whatever you call her, the uh, drive-through window person, because uh, when she reached out to uh, grab the money from me, and in my passenger seat of the car, she noticed I had four boxes of Chocolate Lucky Charms, and she was like, "Oh my God!" And then she. She called her friend that works there. She's like, oh my god, Cindy, did you know this chocolate Lucky Charms? And then I was sitting there and I was like, oh my god, they're talking about my Lucky Charms. So uh, then we started talking about chocolate Lucky Charms and how awesome they are for a bit. And that was kind of fun. I don't know if you guys ever tried chocolate Lucky Charms, but it's totally worth it. They're fucking amazing. Probably the best cereal that there is. Probably. Oh, look at this. We got a nice flamethrower now. There we go. Uh-oh, we ran out of special power. <laughs> Is that effective? Is this going to hurt? help me or hurt me? I think it's going to hurt me. Uh-oh. These guys are coming quick. And the flamethrower was a decent weapon on this one. Can't go wrong with the flamethrower on this. It's slow enough that these guys can run right into that shit and die. Fuck! Got killed again. 1890 points. I think that's alright. Malicious behavior. That's the name of the level. It's malicious. So I went on some rides there at the um, the carnival I was at. Did I mention I went to a carnival yesterday? I can't even remember. My brain is fucked. But I went to a carnival or a fair or whatever you want to call it. It was fun stuff. And um, holy fuck though, was it ever a freak show? And I'm not talking about the carnies either. The carnies were the, some of the classiest people there. It was the people. I've never seen so much fucking... It was like a, a white trash festival. <laughs> it was so bad. I've never seen so many freaks in my life. And I can't believe how much spandex was there. It was really hot too. Really hot sunny day. And there was so many people wearing spandex. And none of these people should have had spandex. None of them. It should have been a crime. <laughs> I don't know how, though. And uh, there was so much spandex there that they actually had a sale. There was people selling clothing at the carnival. Two fucking spandex leggings that are way too tight for people's fat asses. Two of those for 20 bucks. Like, I, I don't know. I guess people span need more spandex. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> it was all like the fattest people I've ever seen wearing it. And I'm not talking about someone who has a couple extra pounds or someone that's overweight. I'm talking about, like, morbidly obese human blobs. Unbelievably fat things that... You, you'd be surprised if you found out they were humans. That's how fat this thing was. And they were just rolling around there, doing their thing, but... God damn it, did they ever wear some inappropriate clothing for that type of look that they had that they were going for with the fat? <laughs> and I love fat people. I have a couple extra pounds myself, but I mean, holy fuck. These, this was something else. <laughs> it was the next level. I don't know where the hell these, like... And it was hot, too. Normally, you don't... These people don't come out in the heat. Wow, look at this one. Is that like a freeze ray? Okay, I like this gun. This is a nice gun. Although it doesn't seem like I'm killing these guys. Am I killing them? I'm just freezing them. And then what, are they all turning green? Are they coming back as green? Fuck, this weapon sucks. <laughs> oh man, I'm so tired. I can barely think or see. Well, I'm gonna have to call it quits right now. I think this is a game called Clean 'Em Up. Did I mention it's free? You can get this for free on Steam. Um, oh, and the developers—I don't even know if I mentioned the developers. I'm so tired right now. 
is uh, Amidos, Big O, and Bauer. So that's that's clean them up. It's okay. Could be better, but I mean, for free, who fucking cares, right? Give it a try. See how many points you can get. They probably beat me. So I can't even think properly right now. Yeah, they're, these guys are all coming back green. I don't even know what I can do against them with this freeze shit. If you're using a freeze weapon, bring another one. Don't just bring freeze, because that won't help you. Anyways, I gotta go. I think I'm gonna take my second nap now. Have a good one. See you later, everybody.